Hey guys, Adam here, winning with SketchUp, and I just want to do a quick video on um, saving an animation out of Enscape. I had a couple people ask me, and perhaps they didn't have time to watch the previous video, um, so I'm just going to do a shortened version and go through really quick um, how to set up keyframes and things with SketchUp, uh, the SketchUp version of Enscape. So I have a scene set up here. Basically, you have these four buttons here control your animation. So this is your start point, stop point, view animation, save animation. These four buttons right here and then they work in combination with this section of the settings menu where it says video. So um, you particularly want to pay attention to the duration and interpolation. So recommend leaving FPS uh, frames per second at about 30, compression quality um, it's up to you what you want to do, but I did it at web and it seemed to work pretty well. So um, all you need to do is set up your initial keyframe would be your starting point. So you just click that button once and there's no visual cues here. So there's no timeline currently. Everything's limited to just the start and stop point. I'm sure that'll be um, added onto or updated in future versions, but for the alpha, that's all we have so far. So you set your start point and you just move your camera. And you set your stop point. And as soon as you do that, you'll see these two um, become ungrade and you can come back here and watch. And that was based on this seven seconds here. Now if I go now even and turn this up to 20 seconds and play this again, you'll see it goes a lot slower. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that. And I'm gonna turn down rendering quality, and maybe turn capture to window. So just on the window and then I can play it again you'll see it'll take the window size here of SketchUp and play a little bit smoother for the preview. So the other thing I can do, turn that off. Uh, let's see, I already have the start point set up. So I'm gonna come down here. Can also set things like Uh, depth of field we can turn up maybe even turn on autofocus um, just kind of play with that a little bit and then we can control motion blur in between the movements of the camera you can turn that on and off and the other thing is the time of day so we set this to our, I'm gonna set this to the stop point here. I'm just gonna right click and drag. Make sure you drag to the right when you change your time of day. Because if you drag to the left and you set your stop point, it, it'll go through the whole 24 hours. So I'm gonna just reset the stop point. The start point should still remember what I had it before. And now I'll go back to play here. I don't have a whole lot of um, heavy shadowing across the scene, so it's a little hard to see the time of day movement, but you can see the, um, the depth of field coming in because we turned that on in our stop keyframe. So right now, that's it. That's what you're limited to, the start and the stop point, and you want to go ahead and export that out. You would use this button here, and once you save that, um, that'll just go ahead and write an mp4 from, in this case it would be 20 seconds long, um, I can shorten that down to maybe 12 and right now I have the interpolation to smooth if I would set this to handycam and kind of see what that looks like and that's more of a um, kind of a handheld camera motion 
and we have linear and smooth. So I'm just going to keep this set to smooth. And I'll go ahead and render this out. And you're just going to hit the save video button here. And it'll pull up um, wherever you want to save it to and kind of give it a, a file name based on the time of day. Um, and then you can change the name. And only MP4 is the option. And go ahead and save it out, and you'll see that this is starting to export the video. So that'll go through and process. Um, and it all depends on your settings as far as how long it's going to take. I threw a little depth of field in here. Um, but your, my rendering quality is down to medium, so once it gets going, it should render pretty quickly. I'm on an old, older uh, video card in my laptop, so you want to use, they recommend anything above really a 9 series um, in video card. I think I'm using a 680M or something for my laptop, so it takes me a little bit longer to render it out, but that's how you do it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So you just, if you're putting together a video or something for this contest, then you want to render um, sequence one, render it out, save that, come back, set up sequence two, render it out, save that. So the downside is you don't really know where your previous sequences start and stop. So if you wanted to go and edit them, um, you can't go and tweak them. You kind of have to rebuild them entirely from scratch, at least from what I've gathered here. So uh, let that run through. And I hope that was helpful. And if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, I was going to wait for that to finish, but I'll stop the video now and maybe post an example on the Facebook page. So, see, talk to you guys soon. Happy rendering. Good luck in the contest.